Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Um, last fall, late last fall, I went to a um, quadcopter race. It was a national race they held up in Milwaukee. And what everyone was running was they were running a, um, the uh, X210s. That's 210 millimeters from propeller to propeller on the diagonal. Uh, this was probably about 90, 95% of the people who were running basically this quad. Uh, I decided to get one and try it. Uh, normally I don't like this much power and things, but I really liked getting together as a group and watching the race and listening to people talk on different type propellers and batteries and uh, the components. So I figured it'd be a good learning chant, uh, I, opportunity for me to get into the uh, racing. I basically like the uh, 180 and smaller, and then lately the 130s and smaller size quads. But I went ahead and put one of these together and been out flying it. It's really, really moves. Uh, with the five inch propellers, it's a little bit quieter, I'm surprised. I guess they're going at a lower RPM, so a little less noise with the propellers, but it's a great flyer. Uh, and I said, well, if I'm going to start racing, I'm going to need a second quad. Uh, because if this one gets broken and I can't fix it there, I'm going to need something else. Everyone had at least two quads. Most of them had three or four at the races. And the other thing at the races that I found interesting is the local people with about my skill or just a little bit more than my skill, there'd normally be about five racers at one time. And I'd say at least three of the racers would crash. So there'd only be one or two that would make the three laps of the course to win. So it's not basically on skill, it's mainly, or it's not on speed, it's on skill. So um, you don't need the fastest racer out there, but I think the maneuverability of these X frames uh, is the way to go. So um, I needed a second one, and I happened to see Banggood was running a sale 20% off on real AC C, um, quadcopters and parts for the month of January. So I went and had and ordered one. Uh, in fact, it was pre-built. I didn't have to worry about building it, which was another thing since I'm building two or three other quads right now uh, that are competing for my time. So this is a real ACC GX210. And I got it, uh, they give you three options. I bought it with the SP Racing uh, F3 board, uh, flight control board. And it lists for $96.00 and it was such a deal at $78. You can't even pick up the components for anything near that. So it's all built for you, ready to go. Uh, you're missing your uh, camera and VTX, a video transmitter, and uh, you're missing your uh, radio receiver, uh, which I went and bought a um, FlySky, the new uh, X6B, uh, basically, you have $78 for the quadcopter, and then uh, I bought a Fox to your um, camera. This is the um, um, HS1177 uh, CD, CCD camera in it. Uh, these are about $30. A VTX is about $15, so to add um, um, your FPV gear, you're looking at around $45. Uh, like I said before, the uh, receiver was about 10 so you're looking at about $130 to um, get this thing up and flying, which is a really great price. It's pre-built. Um, so um, I'm, I put the receiver on it, and I went through, I put Betaflight on this, and I went through and made sure all the settings were correct and about ready to start the flight, but I just thought I'd uh, show you what I have. Put together before I go actually go out and fly it. I also have a 4S battery. It'll fly 4S. Um, it's, this one is not quite as fast or doesn't have quite the pull or thrust as uh, my earlier one that I bought. This I'm using. A little closer view. On top here uh, you have the FlySky receiver. It's uh, about a half a board. It bolts into your stack and I'm running S-Bus off of here. I had to uh, put together a little cable or splice uh, the cable together to make it work. It plugs right into your SP3 um, um, or F3 um, racing control board. Um, 
See, the actual uh, control board came faulty. It would run for about 10 seconds and then it would turn off. So I had to switch it out. They had, I'll um, show you a photograph. Put an extra board in. I had uh, one on another model, so I used this. Uh, they did not use pins. Um, mine had pins on it already, so I had to desolder the board and uh, put on some connectors for pins. Uh, to match the one that I had. Um, so I put a new flight control board in. Uh, Banggood said they'd send me a replacement board, which they're doing, but I would think that would take about three weeks. So I didn't want to wait three weeks, so I used one of my other boards that I had. Then underneath there, you have your um, power distribution board. Uh, you can't really tell what's going on there because they have a lot of it covered. I guess it's a new thing for shielding is they put some aluminum uh, uh, box over everything um, to uh, keep for shielding. Um, so, um, uh, it, and the other thing that they are doing a nice job on is they use rubber mounts on everything now. Um, they're, the flight control board, they had these rubber washers that they're using uh, to keep the vibration down, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, like I said, the ESCs are only 20 amps. Um, I wish this would have came in a nice set like this for a few dollars more with 30 amp ESCs, but and probably the 2700 kV motors. Um, but uh, this will have more power than what I can handle for FPV racing. It's up and flying. Oh yeah, it moves. Uh oh, I can't. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice punch out. Wow, for $78. <laughs> For almost ready to fly quad. This is fantastic. It jiggling's my finger. It's cold out. <laughs> it's in angle mode right now. Twenty three hundred KV motors are definitely a little slower than the twenty seven. But yeah, this thing handles like a dream. Okay. Horizontal mode. Nice loop. Took off nice. Wow. That moves. All I can say is wow. <clears throat> it's faster than my other one, or on 4S, is faster than 3S definitely on the other quad and 2700 kV. It rips. <laughs> For the money, this is a great quad. All reviewers' comments have always been, wow, when this is running on 4S.
nice quad <laughs> unbelievable for uh, 78 bucks for almost ready to fly just add your receiver and um, FPV gear and you're set to go in a battery that forest battery is nice from infinity it's worth the 25 bucks a lot brighter yeah 2, 2S it flies good yeah <laughs> I know it's slower but <laughs> it's still quick wow I think this would be too powerful of a quad for a beginner. Even with switching to 2S battery, which slows it down some, you could put some 4-inch propellers on and you could dial back some of the settings to uh, slow it down. It would make a good beginner FPV racer, but it should be for somebody that has experience flying before. Uh, it's just so fast, if you're a beginner, it's going to get out of your range. and. This thing is nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, these X-frames are very nice, well-balanced. In summary, with this 20% off sale going on now, this is the lowest cost option to get a good, almost ready to fly FPV racer for $78 or $139 for a ready to fly model, which includes a FlySky transmitter and receiver, FPV equipment, and a battery.